So what exactly is Ohm's Law and why should you care about it? Well if you've never heard about Ohm's Law or don't know how to use it, you are missing out on an incredible piece of information. Practically in every electronic project I do, at some point I'll be using Ohm's Law. So in this video I'm going to show you all about how to use Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is a mathematical formula used to calculate the relationship between voltage, current and resistance in an electrical circuit. There are tons of online Ohm's Law calculators. I'll use this one from Rapid Tables. As I mentioned, there are four variables, resistant, voltage, current and power. For example, if I enter 10 amps and 25 volts and hit calculate, resistance and power is calculated at 2.5 ohms and 250 watts respectively. I'll press reset and this time enter 2.5 ohms and 250 watts and then press calculate. And as you can see, just like before when I entered 10 amps and 25 volts, the results are the same. The neat thing about Ohm's Law is you only need to enter any combination of two values in order to solve the remaining two. Ok, great, but why should I care? Well, Ohm's Law is very useful for a variety of applications. For example, say you want to run an LED from a 23 volt power source. Now of course if we simply connect the LED to 23 volts, naturally it instantly burns out because the LED is only rated to a handle around 3 volts. So what we need is a resistor to limit the current so our LED doesn't burn up. The question is, what is the correct value to use? Well that's where Ohm's Law is invaluable. First we need to know how much current the LED can safely handle and the LED's forward voltage. For most LEDs like this one they are typically rated for around 20 milliamps and have a forward voltage of about 3 volts. If you're unsure you can always check the manufacturer's data sheet for your particular LED. First I'll enter the amount of current my LED consumes which in my case is 20 milliamps and now we need to subtract the forward voltage from the supply voltage. So 23 volts supplied minus 3 volts for forward voltage equals 20 volts. Press calculate and now we know the value of the resistor needs to be a thousand ohms. After a quick rummage through my parts drawer and soldering the resistor in series with the LED we're ready to see if Ohm's Law calculated the correct resistor value. And bingo the LED doesn't burn up this time. So Ohm's Law calculated the correct resistor value for us. Thanks Mr Ohms. Alright let's move on to another example. Let's say I have this motor that requires 12 volts and draws around 2.3 amps of current. The problem is my power supply to run the motor is 20 volts, so I'll need to use this buck converter to lower the voltage to 12 volts in order to run the motor. The question is how much current will my power supply have to output to run the motor from the buck converter? Well if we use an Ohm's Law calculator we can find out. First let's figure out how much power the motor consumes. So 12 volts and 2.3 amps equal 27.6 watts of power consumption. Using Ohm's Law we can calculate the current draw from my 20 volt power supply. I'll enter 27.6 watts and 20 volts and now we know the current draw should be 1.38 amps from my 20 volt power supply. I'll use my meter to adjust the buck converter voltage to output 12 volts and hook up the motor. The current does fluctuate a little bit but it looks like it's around 1.6 amps. And remember we calculated 1.3 amps using Ohm's Law which means the power consumption is 4.4 watts higher than we calculated. So did Ohm's Law get it wrong? Well no, what we didn't take into account was the buck converter is not 100% efficient. In this scenario the buck converter is about 85% efficient which explains the power consumption is 4.4 watts higher than we expected. Alright one last example. In this example we want to calculate how much current this automotive bulb draws. Often bulbs like this will only be rated in volts and watts. So let's enter in 55 watts and 12 volts which equals 4.5 amps of current draw. Now let's power the bulb from my power supply and it looks like we're drawing 4.3 amps of current. Slightly lower than we calculated but again that's mostly due to manufacturing tolerances. The neat thing about Ohm's Law is you don't need an Ohm's Law calculator to make these calculations. You can do the equations on a standard calculator or if you have a good memory just do the math in your head. Rapid Tables lists all the Ohm's Law equations if you're interested in memorising them. Personally I have a 3 second memory of a goldfish so I have a handy app called ElectroDroid which besides having an Ohm's Law calculator has many other handy features for the electronic enthusiast. The pro version only costs a few dollars and is totally worth it. And I'm not being sponsored or paid to say that, I just like the app and highly recommend it. 
Alright, now you know all you need to know to get started using Ohm's Law. So if you found this video useful, please give it a like, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters on Patreon. Oh, the wind is getting up. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.